Welcome to Hort Tube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a Nanho Blue Butterfly Bush. This is the all summer flowering, butterfly attracting Nanho Blue Butterfly Bush. With proper pruning, Nanho Blue will reach four to six feet in height every season. If you're not doing any late winter pruning on it, this thing can probably get six or eight feet in height over time. Like all butterfly bushes, they can grow in most areas in the United States. They can grow all the way up to zone five and then down to zone nine. Butterfly bushes are very fast growing. We typically will cut these down in the late winter uh, close to the ground and they can actually return to almost six feet in height in a single season. Butterfly bushes are definitely sun loving plants. We wanna give these at least six hours of direct sunlight and then all the way to full sun would probably be ideal. In terms of where we would use butterfly bushes, they look great as just a standalone specimen plant or in a group with other Nanho Blue butterfly bushes or other colors where you can just cluster several colors of butterfly bushes together. They, they come in all colors and all sizes now. So there's a lot of options in that regard. They look great in a perennial border where it's like the back thing in the perennial border and your other shorter perennials are in front of it. Nanho Blue will really outgrow any foundation space. It might work well in a corner of a foundation, but probably not a great choice for a foundation. There are new dwarf varieties that would work in that situation. Of course, the main feature of these butterfly bushes is these clusters of lightly fragrant flowers that the uh, butterflies really enjoy. They're kind of a pink orangey color in the center and then a bluish purple surrounding that. Nanho Blue is pretty easy to keep a little smaller than some of the other varieties. It is slightly slower growing than Black Knight and a couple of the other varieties. So this one is a little more manageable every summer. It gets absolutely covered. Every single branch ends in a flower and this one is just about to be absolutely covered in flowers from the bottom to the top. The foliage is actually quite nice on butterfly bushes. It's silver underneath. And so anytime the air is moving them around, it appears to have a two-tone foliage. I've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs. Uh, the same thing as I say on most shrubs and trees, make sure you can see everything where it enters the container right now. It, make sure you can still see that after you finish planting it. Mound it up a little bit. You can mulch, but make sure you pull the mulch back and you can see where this wood enters the soil exactly the way it is in this container. This is not a plant you're going to want to bury uh, too deeply. Once established, butterfly bushes are extremely drought tolerant and I say extremely drought tolerant. If you're in an area that gets normal rainfall you probably would never need to water this thing to keep it alive but it blooms on new growth and so keeping it growing during the heat of the summer is the key to having flowers all summer long so you definitely want to address this plant if it becomes abnormally dry and you just drown the space around it and then let it dry out between waterings. But this is a plant you're going to want to address probably once or twice during the summer to keep it looking its best. Like I said, butterfly bushes bloom on new growth. So the more new growth you have, the more flowers you have. Definitely fertilize these as they're starting to wake up in the early spring is the ideal time. Any sort of outdoor fertilizer that lasted three to four months would be ideal. You could definitely use flower tone or something you would use in your perennial border on these uh, to produce more flowers. Pruning is the most important thing on a butterfly bush. In the late winter, before they start waking up, we wanna cut these down to somewhere between 12 inches and 18 inches in height. Clean out any of the oldest wood all the way down to the ground if they're old or dead pieces. If you leave these in place and let them just continue to grow year after year after year, you'll end up with an eight or 10 foot plant, won't have a lot of foliage down at the bottom, and at some point, likely to topple over and be kind of short lived. You want to rejuvenate these every year and you get the freshest foliage, fullest plant, flowers more in the three to four foot range rather than the seven or eight foot range. They're not a lot of pests on butterfly bushes. If they're not getting a lot of air movement, they definitely are susceptible to spider mites. It'll attach itself to the back. It'll discolor the top of the leaf. Uh, if mine gets them, the one I have in my yard, I'll typically take the water hose and just blast three quarters of them off and just not worry about the rest of them. There are chemical controls you can use as well. I consider butterfly bushes to be deer proof and it's another advantage of planting fragrant plants. They tend to stay away from plants that have any kind of fragrance to them. One issue we can have with butterfly bushes is they do have the capacity to seed themselves into the surrounding area. I wouldn't put this in the absolute noxious weed category. They come up slowly from seed and they're easy to control, but they can compete with other 
native plants. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the low maintenance, all summer flowering, Nanho Blue Butterfly Bush. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about butterfly bushes. Thanks for watching.